Computer disassembly. Make sure that the computer system is turned off and disconnected from the power supply. Remove unnecessary hand accessories before disassembly. You will be needing the following tools. First, place the electrostatic mat on the work table. Put on an electrostatic wrap or grounding strap around your wrist and connect the other end to the unpainted part of the computer case. This will prevent the buildup of static electricity from your body. Open the computer case. Remove the side panels, then lift the panel away from the computer case. There are different ways of opening cases depending on the manufacturer, so make sure to check the manual before handling the system case. All of the devices that have been installed will need to be disconnected from the power supply, motherboard, and the device. Disconnect all the cables inside starting from the 24-pin ATX power connector, followed by the 4-pin 12 volts power connectors. And then, remove all the SATA or SATA power connectors. To remove the power supply, the system case should have a large box where the power supply is installed. There should be screws that hold the power supply to the case. Unscrew these bolts from the power supply and put them in a box so you won't misplace them. Remove the power supply by sliding it out. To remove the optical drive, look for the drive bay usually located on the upper portion of the system case. Unscrew the bolts that hold the optical drive to the system case. Slide out the optical drive. The system case should have hard drive base where the hard disk is placed. Unscrew the bolts that hold the hard disk on the hard drive bay. Unmount and slide the hard disk out. To remove the motherboard, unscrew the bolts in the standoffs that screw your motherboard on the side of the system case. Afterwards, the motherboard should come loose from the system case. To remove the RAM, look for the memory slots on the motherboard. The RAM sticks should be in the slots. On both sides of the slot, unlock the tabs by pulling them down slowly. Place your finger lightly on top of the stick to support the RAM when it is released. The RAM sticks should lock out of place and be easily removed. To remove the CPU, first, Pull the rod that locks the CPU fan and heatsink to the mounting tabs. Put the CPU fan away. Next, lift the metal rod next to the CPU socket that holds the CPU. Take note of the arrow that points at the corner of the processor to its socket. Take the CPU carefully from the socket and immediately return it once you've noted its specifications. Once you've disassembled all the components, you can now write the details of each component in an inventory form.